um, during 2020, as you're well aware, um, the epicenter of COVID-19 was Washington. That's right. We knew that it was going to disproportionately impact Native people. We knew we were going to be in a fight. And so the Seattle Indian Health Board, immediately as COVID-19 um, hit our communities, was in a sense just inundated with folks who were both infected, looking for testing, who were afraid. And we quickly ran out of PPE. Mm. Um, we didn't have gowns. And in fact, our providers were changing their scrubs in between every single appointment because we didn't have the gowns that they needed. And then we didn't have enough places so to wash them. The executive leadership team, including myself, were washing scrubs at night at our homes oh and then bringing them into the clinic the next day. I had a couple of physicians because we were running out of surgical masks mm -hmm. who were sewing their own. So um, we put a call out to our state our federal and our county partners. We need PPE, we need masks, we need gowns, we need all of the things that are needed to keep our people safe. And so we finally receive a box. We're running low. I'm washing scrubs in my house at night along with our executive leadership team. And when we opened the box instead of PPE, no masks, no gowns, what we found instead were body bags. We had been sent body bags instead of the essential resources that we needed. I remember picking one up out of the box and out of it dropped toe tags, dropped to the floor. And it just like hit me right here. They'll give us what we need to bury people, but not to ensure their life and vitality. And not only was I experiencing it literally for what was going on in our clinic right then, but also we could think about it as a metaphor for how the United States government yeah. has treated American Indians and Alaska Natives. The Indian health care system is chronically underfunded and is very rarely funded at more than 50 percent the need. Right. But they'll hand us what we need to bury them. I remember going home that first night and I cried the whole way. Uh, my house is about 15 minutes from um, my office. I cried all the way home and I sat in my backyard for like 30 minutes because I also didn't want to traumatize my children. The next morning we're, we got to do it. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm. And we got to work as we had been doing before. And actually the first shipment of PPE that we received after those body bags came from the community. That's public health at its best. That That's community stepping in and saying, okay, we're not going to get the resources you should be getting from your federal, state, and county partners. Instead, we're going to step in and use the resources that we have. And that's what Native communities have always done.